Okay, this is Mark Rash. Um, I'm a crop consultant and uh, we're here looking at a soybean field. Um, past week and weekend we've had uh, two to three inches of rain in the Oldie Bold area. Um, nice soaking rain that was badly needed by the beans and uh, sure made the corn pop pretty well too here. Uh, we get some warmer temperatures and uh, things will really take off I think. Um, our heat units have been running uh, on the corn we're anywhere from uh, 350 to about 600 as of last sun this past Sunday and uh, on the beans we're running uh, all around 250 to 350 on the heat units for the beans. Uh, we've had some fairly cool days here the last couple of weeks and uh, our well, the last couple of days I guess and uh, but warmer temperatures are expected and things ought to really start kicking off here. Uh, we're staying here today in a bean field it's got uh, two varieties of soybeans uh, one variety is uh, regular Roundup Ready beans, and then the other variety is uh, uh, our Roundup Ready 2 beans, uh, the newest uh, version out. And uh, the Roundup Ready 2s are a 2.9 bean and uh, from Latham Seed Company, and uh, the regular Roundup beans are a 2.7 variety that uh, we've planted the last several years. Uh, been a real good bean for us and uh, we're excited about seeing what the what the test is between the two. Uh, these beans today are uh, in what we call the cotyledon stage. Uh, you have the first unifoliate leaves out, uh, the two leaves that are opposite of each other um, and we always stage beans the previous leaf stage to what is actually un unfolded. Um, that uh, seems to match up the best with uh, chemical companies and university information and that's how we stage our beans. Um, we're uh, a little concerned about uh, insects at this point. Uh, bean leaf beetle is typically um, the overwintering bean leaf beetles are usually showing up by this point. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of activity uh, from that particular pest here recently um, but those are that's the first pest that we're most concerned about and uh, with the low activity that we've seen we we don't believe that we're going to have to treat but we certainly will be keeping a very close eye on that. Um, these beans will be sprayed round up for Roundup uh, probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, we have uh, generally use a pre-plant uh, herbicide program uh, prior to planting and uh, in this particular case we're using a generic prowl. Um, we'll follow that up of course with Roundup and then uh, uh, throw in usually some select uh, to take out the volunteer corn and help with grass control. Okay this is June 11th and uh, we're in a cornfield. It's corn following soybeans. It was uh, planted on uh, the 23rd of April and we sprayed Roundup on it here last Thursday so it's been sprayed for a week and uh, we're just uh, out here kind of looking at uh, our control and looks like we've got got pretty good uh, control so far. Um, this corn is uh, doing pretty well here in 20 inch rows and um, population we dropped about 35,000 and it's running about 34,000 uh, planting popu or, you know, population here uh, which is pretty good. It's less than our 5% allowable uh, loss from planting and, and uh, looking real good.